He caught 103 passes for 2,336 yards and 26 touchdowns this season. His 166.9 yards per game average led the nation. He set state records for touchdown catches in the season, receiving yards in the season, career receiving yards, career touchdown catches, and career receptions. But most important to him are the back-to-back -back state championships. Our player of the year is Puka Nakua of Warham High School. Puka, congratulations. So many awards that you've won, and for good reason. What's this ride been like for you? And all these accomplishments that I just talked about, is it just kind of surreal that you're at this moment where you're in the history books? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's definitely been crazy. It's been a lifetime journey, and it, I feel like it's, it's, not, it's not done yet, definitely, going on yeah. to the next level, but high school is definitely, it's nothing, nothing can compare to it. High school football has been the greatest joy of my life. I mean, those memories I made out with the, my teammates, my, my other brothers on the field, they're some I, I wouldn't trade anything in the world for it. I could ask you about all the highlights and all the stats and, and the trophies and all that stuff, but I want to know, what football has done for you in your life? There's a lot of kids out there that look up to you. How has football made a difference in your life and how has it changed your life? The life experiences of the ups and downs, I think sports in general, not even just football, but sports, the competitive part of it, I think brings out sometimes the best and sometimes the worst in people. But I think the enjoyment of having be able to succeed and to work up to something, I think that's the greatest achievement was when you work for something and that it eventually comes out, uh, all that, the time spent into it, the energy spent into it, it's just relaxing and relieving when you know that you've accomplished that goal. And that's definitely what football has been for me, just to work so hard to help uh, my team and finish our complete goal and by winning back-to-back -back state champions in. And that, that excitement on the field, the energy on the field when that final buzzer ring and everybody's hooping and hollering and jumping up and down. And that's, that's what football taught me is to love those guys around me. And I know they would do anything for me and I would do anything for them. Yeah, everybody wants to know. Where are you going to play next? And you've committed to USC, but you seem to be open still. You're waiting until February to make your decision. Yes, sir. First of all, why are you waiting, and why? what has this process been like for you? Signing in February is something me and my mom discussed. Uh, since I'm not enrolling early in the school year, like a lot of uh, some, so I decided, I mean, there's no reason to kind of rush. This is going to be a, a major decision in my life. It's going to impact the next upcoming years and how my future will end up. So def nothing I want to rush into, but yeah, I am committed to USC, and, but uh, we'll see uh, on February, but as of right now, I'm still committed. Your brothers still have time to get in your ear and convince you to go where they want you to go, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely a little bit. That's why we got, we got a couple months to see how everything plays out. Well, where, whatever you end up, you're going to do well. Congratulations on an incredible career. The greatest receiver in Utah high school football history, Puka Nakua.